So, hi, hi, hello, and welcome to another video. So, basically every year I do a books to read in 2024. So, right now we have 24 books to read in 2024. Last year it was 23, you know, so, so on and so on. You, you understand the picture. So, here I have 24 books that I want to read within 2024. Now, these are a lot of books. Um, I'm just putting it out there. Uh, I feel like it's a lot. Um, and I have to say, that is the reason why there are a lot of romances on this list. Because these are romances that I am really, really curious about. Um, I do have two fantasies on here. Most, most of the other ones are romances because those are the books that I am highly more likely to pick up. Because I have definitely seen that sometimes I'm struggling to get through it and I just really want to feel better at this. So, let's just talk about the 24 in 24. So, the first one is Grip by Ryan Kennedy. No, Kennedy Ryan. Uh, basically, the only thing that says on the cover is I fell for her before the beat dropped. So, I think it might be like a rock star romance. Might be, don't quote me on that, but yeah. And then I have a lot of emotional romances. Um, so yeah, then we have Full Tilt and this one is about this girl who is basically falling in love with this boy and, um, and um, will this make me cry? I think that is, I think this is like one of the most like will this make me cry uh, type of lists then we have a, a thousand boy kisses and um the reason i think the reason i think it's this one and the reason why i have this one on here is basically because one of like like the main love interest i think is swedish and that is norway's um neighbor country basically <laughs> So yeah, then we have The Last Letter by Rebecca Yaros. This is a military romance and I do believe that it's... I don't remember if it is a best friend's brother or husband's best brother. No, best friend. Wait, best friend's brother or... yeah. Best friend's brother or hus like the dead husband's best friend. I don't really remember, but it's one of those. Then we have June 1st. Do I remember what this is about? No. It basically says, the only girl I ever loved became the only girl I could never have. So... It's angsty. Let's call it that. So yeah. Uh, then we have Making Faces. I don't really remember what this is about, but I really, really want to get to it. It has been on my TBR for a long while, and I feel this is definitely a list of 24 books that I have had in mind for a while. Then we have A Fallen Star. I think one of the books in this series was on like a list of uh, this book will make you cry list. So yeah. Then we have Most of All You. Uh, I read Archer's Voice not too long ago by Mia Sheridan and I really want to continue on with reading Mia Sheridan because I really liked Archer's voice and um, then we have The Law of Moses and basically it says a story of before and after a new beginnings and never endings and this one is also said to be sad so yeah some people are just really good at writing really like emotional books that draws you in and makes you cry it really depends I am not the biggest crier. Then we have Addicted to You. And from what I have heard about this book, it's about two people. Yeah. Two best friends, liars, lover, addicts. One epic love story. So basically they date each other, like fake date each other to hide their, their addiction to their family. And this is like... I think it's a 10 book series or something. It's a lot of books in this series. Um, I will have to see if I like this first one, if I'm going to continue on or not. <laughs> so, uh, then we have Happy Place by Emily Henry. I read a lot of Emily, Emily, Emily Henry. And if you watch uh, kind of all the videos that comes out this week, you will 
probably see a few of these uh, books popping up again and again. And Happy Place is definitely one of them because I really want to get to it. So yeah, then we have The Sweet Gum Tree. This was basically because it said to be sad. And I want to see, can a book really make me like bawl my eyes out or is it just like tearing up? That is sort of why. So, then we have Loving Mr. Daniels. And this is Britney C. Cherry and basically I have read, I think it's two Britney C. Cherry books and I have loved them. Now, I am curious to see what I feel about this book uh, because I think it's student teacher. Don't don't quote me on it, but I do think so. And that is something um, sometimes I can get on board with, sometimes I don't like it. It really depends on a few things. Uh, and um, yeah, it really, really depends. And um, yeah, but to be completely honest, um, I find it difficult with me living here in Norway to kind of, you know, say that you, uh, this is nasty, um, when the person is over 16 because uh, I don't know how it is to kind of be that way that, yeah, because in Norway the age of consent is 16. So, you know, I have not grown up with the, you know, thoughts of age of consent is 18, you know. That is kind of why I sometimes find it come up again and again because I really love her as an author and I want to read whatever she comes out with you know so I don't really know what this book is about except that if it's I hope it's as good as the love hypothesis then we have hook line sinker and I read the first one which is it happened one summer and I really want to read this one uh, this is friends to lovers and I feel like for me, it really depends on how the friends to lovers are written, if I like it or not. But yeah. Then we have Done and Dusted. And um, I love a cowboy romance. And um, since this is that, I really wanted to read it. That is kind of... I mean, I am a little weird with this. Like, oh, this is what I want to. So yeah. Then we have Love Light Farm and I Farms and I do believe that this is a Christmas romance. Don't think I have much to say about this except that I have had it on my TBR for such a long time that I figure out that I should put it on this list and actually get to it. Then we have Marriage for One and this is a marriage of convenience slow burn romance and um, this has been on my TBR for a long long time and um, I want to get to it and um, yeah, hopefully I can and I will. It's quite a long book, but I mean, one of my favorite, The Wall of Winnipeg and Me, is not the same, but it's, you know, have the same things in it for Marriage for One, uh, except that they are highly, like, really different, but they have some of the same elements that I really like. Slow Burn, Marriage of Convenience, um, basically grumpy guy sunshine girl yeah then we have dark notes and it says i'm his ivory and he's my darkest note so this is a um pam godwin re like writes uh, darker romances this is i think it's student teacher this too a lot of people love this so i want to try it out and see then we have the stolen air and this is um basically in the alfa alfheim universe it's basically the companion to the first series. So this is about Oak, 
I think his name is Ok. So yeah, I really want to try and get to that because I love the Cruel Prince and that series. I don't really remember the name name for that. So yeah. Then we have To Love Jason Thorne, and this is I don't know if it's Hate to Love or like fake dating. It's something at least. I don't really remember, but. I think I would rather really like this or really hate it uh, because that seems to be like the vibe that uh, I get from people rather they love it or they hate it so yeah then we have the fine print and uh, I don't really know or remember what this is about however it is so highly talked about a lot talked about so I just want to really get to this and see if I like it or not I think it's a series so I have some books there to read then we have Love Theoretically, and this is also Ali Hazelwood. And I think this, I think it's this one who is in the same universe, not the same universe, but the same series as the Love Hypothesis. And um, so I really want to get to it. I love Ali Hazelwood, and um, I can't wait to catch up on her, on the books that she has published. I mean, she has published four books I think and I think the love hypothesis it didn't come out that long ago so she has published a lot of books so she is definitely in her writing mood so yeah but that was it for this video I hope you liked it and I will see you next time for another one bye